All right. Um, so we have finally the new chapter. I know that we went over the spoilers, if you missed out on those, um, in the latest episode of the Full Power Podcast, which of course was clipped on, put onto this channel. So just to save some time, let's just get right into it. Okay, so Beerus' planet, all right, so Goku and Vegeta's battle to the death with gas on planet Serial ended with an abrupt loss to Black Frieza. After that, they returned to Beerus' planet, and then we see them all stuffed and all that. Goku was now aware of the massive power gap between him and his foe, as was Vegeta. As such, they continued their training in the hopes of defeating Frieza. All right, so obviously, I'm going to show you guys the color page. This was shown, um, like, all over Twitter. So this one's no secret, of course. Now this is official in color. It looks great. Black Freeze's color looks very great. And I'm glad that we did get a color page. It's been three months. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad about that. Evil must be mopped up. We leave the world cleaner than we found it. We're the cleanup heroes. Say a man X1. Say a man X2. Here to tidy up. <laughs> I love it. Here, here, here. I love it. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> All right. So, Julia District, <clears throat> Mosquito Town, West Capital. Uh, what the? They just flipped over the vehicle. Bold of you to rob a jewelry store in broad daylight, but too brash for your own good. It's them. Those would be heroes who popped up in West Capital recently. Oh, yeah? How dare you wreck my ride like that? You snot nose wackos. All right, so Mance pulls a freaking gun out. Back off unless you want to die. Oh. So I'm guessing Trunks is X1. So he he basically, like, he goes up and he's about to, yeah, he crushes the gun, right? So you won't be dirtying our town anymore. Not on my watch. All right. And he puts it in a <laughs> trash bag. Now dispose of your trash properly. So they're basically like garbage man superheroes, right? Okay, cool. We'll take it. You little punk. All right, so there's some little action going on. They're swinging. Goten and Trunks, of course, are just avoiding everything. Goten says, swinging blades around is risky business. <laughs> this is so good. I really hope that... I, I, you know, imagine if this gets into the anime first. I'm sure that would piss off a lot of people. Knives can't be disposed with normal garbage. What a pain. They really are about their garbage disposal life right now. This is kind of this is kind of funny. Crap, they haven't beaten us yet. So they're charging at them. And then, of course, they get kicked back. They get knocked on their heads. Literally, they get knocked on their heads. Everyone's like, oh. And they're like, oh, okay, we give up. And they go, clean up complete. I love it. I love it. I need a I need a side scroller beat 'em up game to play as Saiyan X1 and X2. That'll literally be OD and I'm 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 not even kidding. Like I'm not even kidding. Uh we you we you so then the cops come and then they're watching from afar. They take off their helmets. Trunks says, "Phew, that went great, Goten." And then the Goten says, <coughs> "Excuse me. It was perfect, Trunks." And the best part our awesome pose, just like clean God himself. Same man, X1. Same man, X2. Here to tidy. <laughs> All right. And then they're standing in front of the clean God. Okay. So, sign says, here to sweep away evil. Your favorite video game superhero is finally hitting the big screen. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I remember this part. So, there. So, clean God is getting a movie. He looks so generic. It's, like, not even funny. Like, look at this. He looks absolutely generic. But I love it. Like it's it's a part of the charm, you know. Like this is this is this is really cool. I, I appreciate this a lot. The poses, the catchphrases. You think we're uh, cr cribbing too much from him? And then Goten says, "Nah, it's fine. We're a duo after all." All right, Goten gets a a, a ring on his phone. I guess it looks like he got he got a butt pocket where it doesn't look like he has a butt pocket. Uh, he says, "Hey, a news bulletin." His trunk says, "What? A big thief or a big theft?" Chunk says, off to our next mission then. Armed robbers, huh? What t what town? And then goes says, um, it was a cyber attack. Identity theft. They stole a bunch of people's personal information. <clears throat> a cyber attack? Darn it. We can't beat up scumbags over the internet? Mm, yeah, that, that is definitely true. That's unfortunate. You've never been great with computers, Trunks. Which doesn't make sense, but that's 
whatever. Um, I just want to face off against some mighty evil and do it in style. But maybe there's no place for superheroes in modern society. A peaceful world is a good thing, Goten says. Shanks says, yeah, yeah, can't argue there. But still. And then Goten's phone rings. Uh-oh, it's Chi-Chi's mom. Or it's Chi-Chi, not Chi-Chi's mom. That'd be another character in, on, entirely. Uh, Goten, what do you think you're doing? Goten says, oh, mom, uh, you should have been home a while ago. And he's like, right, sorry, I'm on my way right now. The daring duo, duo's exploits remain a secret to their family. So that's like the narrator. That's uh, Toyotaro, if we're going to assume that he's narrating the story. Um, I wish we had special transformation watches like Gohan, especially since our folks don't know about any of this. I know, I'll have Pilaf make us what we need. Goten says, huh, you can just ask for stuff like that? And then he's saying that while he's getting undressed. So, And then Trump says, yeah, I can. It's kind of a long story. Lend me your costume, okay? He's like, okay, sure. So he gives Trunks his costume in the bag, and then Goten has his school clothes. He's going off. He's like, see, at school tomorrow. All right, so he puts his clothes back on so obviously he could go home. And he takes the Kinto Un, a.k.a. the uh, Nimbus, which um, is really cool to see because we haven't actually seen the Nimbus. I can't even tell you the last time we saw it, so it's really nice to see it in this arc. Trunks has a superhero landing. It's very superhero-esque. Um, he clicks the bag and it turns into a little capsule, which is pretty dope, not gonna lie. Um, right up in the top there. I have to skew it because, you know, obvious reasons. I'm not trying to get, you know, shot by Viz. So, okay, and then this is the part where he notices his grandparents and then they have like that pet dinosaur and they're looking at flowers. And then Trunks is like, Grandpa's here? He goes, Yikes. And he puts right back, he puts his helmet right back on. He goes, Oh my, aren't you the mighty something or other man who's been making what waves lately? And he turns around. <laughs> he pulls it. I mop up evil in this world as say a man X1. And then the, the dinosaur thing goes raw, raw. And it reacts to Trunks, right? And then it like pets his leg. And then, and then in his mind, Trunks is like, Back off, Dino. This isn't me. So I don't know if it's Dino or Dino. But I'm going to say Dino for the time being. That's odd. He's usually only that affectionate with family. And he starts licking Trunks' face. So then Trunks is like, well, well, superheroes are beloved are beloved by one and all, great and small. Oh, my man got bars. Oh, okay, okay, Trunks. I guess it comes with the territory, right? So so then he, then he like, whispers, he, like, whispers, like, sit. And then he sits down. And he goes, farewell. And then he flies off. And then... Uh, his grandpa goes, more and more youngsters know how to fly nowadays. <laughs> that is very true. You know, I feel like that could low-key be like um, a nice subtle way of a of kind of like mapping out the future of what to expect um, in like the coming arcs and years of Dragon Ball. Because a lot more of the characters should be a lot younger, which would obviously entail or you know, include that a lot of them will probably be flying. Obviously, Pan's going to be flying. Oob is going to be flying once Oob comes back around. So, yeah. Um, phew. Close one. Chunk says, I'll really be in for it if Mom finds out I've been blowing off studying to play hero. Mm. Okay, so Bulma definitely has a, a little chichi in her, of course. You know, that's a good mother trait, right? So then, uh, I guess his Grandma says, was there someone here, dear? And then... Um, Grandpa says, just the superhero passing by. How wonderful. I'd love to meet a hero. And then he says, actually, his voice was awfully familiar. <laughs> That's funny. And then she goes, which flowers are nicer, do you think? Dear little Pan just started kindergarten, so I'd like to send a bouquet for the occasion. Is that so? My, my. She's growing up so fast. Perhaps I'll send the splendid aircraft as a present. I remember her being dismayed that she couldn't fly like Piccolo and the others. Which we've talked about in great length um, that that's kind of weird that they're writing the story as if she really can't fly. I mean, maybe it was like one of those happy accidents when she was a baby and then now she just doesn't, you know, as you kind of like mature even a little bit, you maybe lose on some of those things. Like it's almost like the crossing over phase. I don't even know. Like you watch Baby Genius? No, whatever. I don't know. Goodness. That won't do. The girl doesn't have her pilot's license. And then he goes, a stew point. No aircraft then. How about a castle instead? <laughs> and then the flower lady goes, a castle for a kindergartner? Quite a gift. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what happens when you have money. Right? Roar. So the dino roars. Oh, looks like there's a bunch of robots coming. What is it this time? It's like, hmm, aren't those our helper bots? Okay, so the helper bots, This is. they must have got hacked. So then, then he says, what's gotten into them? 
it's funny because Gotten and Goten are spelled the same, as you can uh, see kind of right there, but whatever. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. And he turns over and then he goes, honey. Oh, it's the first look at our zombies, right? So check the zombie out. So this is the Hito. This is definitely Hito zombies, right? 100%. No doubt about that. And they're they like he's screaming, right? The next day at Capsule Corp. So time skip. Oh, not really. Okay, so morning all. Peel off. How's my request from yesterday coming along? And then he goes, good morning, young master. One of them is done. Yes, he calls me young master. That's so funny. Uh, done already? Thanks a bunch. As simple as uh, as simple... As simple a request as can be. Go tens will be done tomorrow. Then Trunks goes, awesome, thanks. Ahem, in exchange, Bulma doesn't need to know about me stealing the Dragon Balls, right? And then Trunks says, sure thing, as long as you keep our superhero deal a secret. Rest easy, says Pilaf. I haven't even breathed, breathed a word to Shu and Mai. So then Bulma says, and what might you two be conspiring about? And Trunks is like, oh. And then, he, and then he's like, hi, mom. Uh, us conspiring? Nah. And Bulma says, hmm, whatever it is, aren't you late for school? Ah, uh, crap. Thanks again. And then he sees Mai, and then they're, like, carrying a box, and then Mai notices Trunks, and then Trunks like, kind of, like, like, blushes a little bit, and then he goes to help them, and he's like, that looks heavy, Mai, let me help. So, of course, because he's a Saiyan and all, he's like, he just picks that John up, no problem, right? <clears throat> and he goes, is here good? Oh, so I'm, I'm noticing that Trunks is wearing... Oh no, you know what? No, let me let me stop. Let me not get too ahead of myself. I was like, wait a minute. He looks like he's wearing clothes similar to how he wore in GT, but then it occurred to me that he wore this exact outfit more than likely in the superhero movie. So again, let me not get ahead of myself. So she says, sure, thanks. While you're at it, mind helping me with mine too? And that's shoes saying that. And then he's like, uh, actually, my, I was hoping we could chat. And then... <laughs> and then Shu goes, ahem, this one's heavy too. <laughs> Trucks is not paying any any mind to him at all. <laughs> okay. And then and she's like, about what? And he's like, mm, later, once I get home. Uh bye bye. And then um he scurries off and then Shu's like, yo, this man literally just freaking left my box right there. Like, what the hell? And Bulma notices, of course, so she probably she peeps that, you know, that Trunks has the hots for for Mai, of course. And Pilaf says, ha ha ha, such excitement so early in the day. Bulma says, by the way, Pilaf, ever heard of a security camera? Uh oh. And then he goes, um, what exactly do you mean? She goes, I'm talking about the camera that caught you stealing the Dragon Balls from my room. <laughs> he goes, huh? And then she goes, if you're thinking about making some nasty wish, think again, give them back. Pilaf says, yes, of course, so, so sorry. And she's like, your goose was cooked from minute one. Got him. Nice. Chunk goes, I'm off. Oh, yeah. So this is, this is, so him in this uh, style of bicycle similar to Gohan um, is uh, really, you know, of course, it's like reminiscent to when Gohan had the same bike when he was going through all his high school, you know, phase or whatever. So then, oh, wow. He's like, he's, he's riding that jaw mad fast. He's like going faster than like cars and stuff. He drives by cars or whatever. And, and then he goes up to a, like a hot dog stand, goes late again, Trunks, save the dog just for you. So thanks a lot. And then he flips him, I guess, whatever, how much yen that was. I'll be fine. Just got to sneak in the classroom window. And he's like, if you say so, kid, that's cool. So he has he has a good rapport with the, uh, the locals, right? And then he notices some dude driving a car. He literally like throws a can like out his window and he <laughs> he picks it up. And throws it right back at the dude's head. And the guy's like, who the heck did that? And then Trunks gets to school. Blue Hall High School. So he's like jumping around. He's trying to avoid getting caught. Opens a window. Throws his bag in. Jumps right in. And then the teacher catches him right on time. He goes, ahem, Trunks. <laughs> he goes, ah. And then the the teacher's like, not even the heir to the capsule corporation gets to slip in the after in after the bell. So sorry, sir. And he says, continue this tardy streak, and your time at this school may be over. Oof! And he gets, I'm guessing, a detention slip. I'm I don't know what that is. He goes, got it. He goes, smooth move, man. 
And so, and then he goes, now back to the lesson, says the teacher. All right. So the trunk says, I've been busy. It's not like duty only calls after school. And his, this other friend guy, whatever, he's like, duty, what duty? He goes, forget it. He's like, that won't cut it, Mr. Future CEO. He's like, that's the thing. Uh, compass. Okay, so they spell compass with a K. So this. Okay, so this is compass. Um, <coughs> sorry. Trunk says, I don't want to run a corporation. He goes, huh? He's like, why not? It's your ticket to being richer than rich. And then Trunk says, which sounds real boring to me. I need more excitement in my life. This is usually what happens when you have these characters that are so privileged and like rich and they don't have anything to worry about. Like they just get bored of their lives. So then they want to have struggle. It's like, I always, I always thought that was funny about life. It's like, you always want the things that you don't have. I mean, even when you have everything, there's still always going to be something, even if it's nothing, which is kind of crazy and OD to think about. So I don't know. Anyway, I hear you're looking for excitement, a little adventure. And Trunk says, what do you mean, Rula? Her name is Rula, <laughs> like ruler. <laughs> that's, that's so godlike. All right, whatever. Uh, anyway, she goes, well, did you hear about the ghost? And then Trunks is like, huh, G ghost? Uh, oh, yeah, I heard the hockey team had a sighting. And then apparently, so this other kid says, apparently they appear near the abandoned mansion on Mount Butterfly. And then she says, and then Rula <laughs> says want to check it out after school i think think of it as a dare and then compass goes we're in right trunks Pfft, ghosts too silly besides i've got a packed sked today um and then he's like what happened to craving excitement man he's like it's not like that and compass is like i wonder what's gotten into him and the rule is like he never wants to hang out anymore and then trunks is like a dare give me a break I can't handle ghosts and ghouls and all that spooky junk. So I do want to take this time to at least um, bring up something that I didn't realize at first. And it was that Trunks and Goten, as Gotenks, they have a move called the Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack. Yeah, I don't know if a lot of this really lines up, but let's keep reading. After school... So it looked like Trunks was bawling, but that's really not actually him. Um, it's just, you know, standby people or whatever in the, in the, whatever, in the distance. So after school, we see Goten, right? And Trunks goes, yo, Goten, video games at my place again, right? He's like, oh, hey, Trunks. Yeah. All right. So they're at, they're at Capsule Corp and they're, <clears throat> it looks like they're playing the, uh, the, the, the God, the clean God. Clean God is here to sweep away evil. And it looked like they're playing on some, like, rounded about nintendo 64 looking console right it's interesting right and then he goes taste my cleans my cleanser strike and then trunks goes "Ugh, games are great but i want to kick butt in real life too and they they i i like how they put irl they don't say in real life they actually say irl goten says i bet you can't wait to use your new transformation watch huh man i want one too and then trunks goes actually i gave it a trial run today and then Goten's like, already? Did you find some crime to fight? And he says, nope, but I transformed and flew to the movie theater during my free period <laughs> to buy these. Okay, so they got Clean God movie tickets. And then Goten's like, whoa, day one tickets for the Clean God movie? We thought we'd never get our hands on those. And then Trunks says, complete with an in-person meet and greet with the movie star. Wow, that's crazy. They got some nutty, nutty things going on. Goten says, too cool. He goes, the thing is, Goten... I'm really sorry, but I can only get two, and there's someone I really want to ask out. Okay, so this is where he tries to get my involved. So, man, see, this is what I think. I don't know if it's a maturity thing, but right now, Goten's really not all about girls yet. I mean, obviously, in GT, that's a lot different, but we don't even have to talk about GT because, of course, it really doesn't matter in this portion of the story. But Trunks is really not about bros before hoes, man. I don't know, man. He's breaking them codes. Anyway... All jokes aside, uh, and <clears throat> Gozen's like, oh, what? No way, for real? He's like, let me guess. Is it my? And Trunks is like, I know I owe you one, but give me a minute while I go ask her out, okay? So then he goes over, um, and he passes by a bunch of people. He's like, on your right. Um, dude's like, carry that over this way. And then it's quite busy, huh, says Trunks. <clears throat> he goes to mine. He goes, so, my, remember that chat I wanted to have with you? Well, are you free this Saturday? I've got some uh, primo movie tickets. 
She goes, a movie, huh? He says, yeah, the live-action Clean God movie I told you about. Let me tell you, these tickets were not easy to get. And she goes, yeah, it's not really my thing. Wow, that's pretty lame. <laughs> Young Master says Pilaf, a great volume of helper bots had to be recalled all at once, so we'll be busy repairing them all for the rest of the month. And then she goes, yeah, what he said. Trunk says, you can't take a single night off for dinner and a movie? And then Pilaf says, I'm afraid she cannot. Uh, he's uh, totally uh, cock blocking. He says, not even a request from you, young master, can keep us from this work. We're only allowed to live here as long as we're useful. Mm. Shu says, especially because Boma laid down the law after that business this morning. And Trunk says, how long will it all take? And he says, impossible to say for now. It's nonstop as the helper bots keep getting carted in. Got two more recalled helper bots here. Wow. So... Yep, they're just bringing them all in. Trunk says, what's the deal with them? Shu says, word is they stopped obeying their owners and ran away from their homes. Okay, so this must be like a side business that Capscore has. They have like these helper bots that just exist and, and with families. That's pretty damn. They, they, they are loaded, loaded. Okay. Um, Pilaf says, I created these helper bots and I don't make mistakes. Someone must have tampered with them. Shu says, there's a rumor that when night falls, strange folk appear to meddle with the helper bots. And Trunk says, so if I catch these weirdos, Mai will have Saturday night off. And Pilaf says, if the recall is called off, of course. Trunk says, great, I've got some criminals to stop. And then Trunk says, just you wait, Mai. So he goes right back to where Goten's playing the game. He goes, up and at him, Goten, it's Saiyan Man action time. Goten says, wait, what? We've got a mission? Okay. So... Then Trunk says, Shu said most of the reports came from this neighborhood. So I don't see any strange folk. Maybe the rumor is just a rumor. Then Trunk says, even a residential street feels kind of creepy in the dark. Goten says, creepy that, wait, hold on. He's like, creepy, that reminds me. People said that ghosts are showing up around here too. Then Trunk says, cut it out, Goten. There's no such thing as ghosts, okay? And then Goten says, hang on, are you scared of ghost trunks? And then Trunks said, scared? Never. As the son of the scientist, I don't believe in them. And then Goten says, well, that's funny because I'm pretty sure both our dads have died and come back as ghosts or whatever. Okay, so Trunks says, that's not the same. Thank you, because that's not the same. They definitely, listen, I don't really, I don't like the idea of considering Goku and Vegeta coming back as ghosts. Because I have you ever seen a ghost with a halo? And I know ghosts are dead and just like how they were dead. It's like very like similar, but they're different, you know. And Trunks clearly recognized that. And I'm glad they said that in here. But even Goten was like they came back as ghosts or whatever. So even he's not like 100% on what he said. So just to like I guess clear the air on this line or this part of the story. Like I was talking about this uh, on the Full Power Podcast as well. And I really don't like the wording of referring to Goku and Vegeta as, you know, dead beings, as ghosts, because, I mean, obviously, it's never been, re they've never been referred to as such before, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Trunks goes, ah, sorry. Oh, and then <laughs> he bumps into one of the zombies, right? So I'm going to call these the, the, the Hito zombies, right? So Trunks is like, eek, I do believe, and then he, like, hides, right? And then Goten turns the corner, and then he goes, hey, Trunks, that must be the culprit, huh? So then it looks like the guy, he just puts his hood back on, keeps walking, right? So then another person, he goes, uh, cook me up a fine dinner once we're home, robot And he goes, oh, Roger, Roger. That's like the, that's the, uh, the uh, capsule court robot. Oh, okay. So he whips out like a, like a remote and he hits the button. And it looks like that's what messes with whatever frequencies that I guess messes with its program. So then it starts to rattle, and then the uh, civilian's like, what's the matter? And then the thing just like, bleep, bleep. And then it just starts running off. They like, where, where on earth are you off to? Then Goten says, see, he must must have done something to it with that remote control. And Trunk says, and he wears that spooky mask to scare people away. What a dirty move. So then, um, you know, like a car like drives by, and it like almost blinds them, right? So, and it keeps driving. And then Goten's like, oh, no, he's getting away in that car. And then Trunks says, maybe we can find his hideout. Let's tail him. All right, so they, they, they fly, of course, and they're, like, following the car from afar. And then um, 
it goes up into this like mansion and trunks is like ah that's the abandoned mansion on on mount butterfly or mount butterfly where they said ghosts have been showing up and goten's like must be his lair and he's like let's check it out he's like wait goten and then he's like it's pretty late and dark how about we come back in the daylight Goten's like what's the matter don't you want to solve this mystery so you can have your movie date and besides i thought you didn't believe in ghosts hmm? and trunks like you're not wrong here you're not wrong there Thinks of my, thinks of the zombies, thinks of my going to the movies, thinks of the zombies again, thinks of my again, thinks of the zombies. He's like, fine, let's do this. I, I, I like the, I like the panels here. This is actually kind of cool, like where he's like having this internal struggle mentally. That's really, that's really neat. And then Goten's already at the window. Trunks is like, darn it, don't leave me alone, Goten. He's like, not cool, man. He's like, shh. And he looks inside and he sees a bunch of the helper robots with a bunch of zombies. And then, yeah, like. They're like eating. Oh, it's like some sushi joint. Yeah, it's like a like a conveyor belt. Goten's like, those are the helper robots that are being recalled, right? And the Trunks is like, I get it. They're overriding the system programming to put our robots to work here. This is where those missing bots from the city ended up. And then he says, Wait, is that the pre-packaged sushi that is, that's been all the the rage in West City in in West Capital City recently? Now that I know who's making it, but and it's like this mummy guy and he goes who are you and they go yikes so they try to hide and they literally oh snap so basically he they thought that they thought that they were called but it was really their uh trunks friends compass so compass gets literally held up by the freaking throat holy crap he's like how'd you kids sneak in here and he's like ah. and then goten's like aren't those your classmates and trunks like oh great they went through with their dare and then the mummy guy goes, you want a beating that bad, huh? And then Trunks is like, I'll transform and chain and charge in there. You wait here, Goten. He's like, got it. Because he, click, he's like, shah, huh? Better act fast. All right. And he's like, not working. Maybe it broke when I smacked it before. And then, oh, and then it, then it, then it finally like went on. He's like, sweet. Okay. So there's no like, it's morphin time or a henshin or anything like that. Um, because the, the watch itself seemed to be malfunctioned. I'm still having hopes that... <clears throat> when it's they finally get a, a a better scene where they can like you know properly approach whatever and then they morph i do hope that they do have a morphing sequence that would be so sick so he comes in kicks the hand off of his friend and, he, and he's in there um and he gets knocked down and then chunks is chunks is in there as x1 and then all the zombies and the mummy guys like what the hell and then this is one football dude. He's like, who the hell are you? And Trunks is like, I'll have you now. I'll have you know. I am. And then the one of his other friends is like, it's Saiyan Man X1. Nick, thanks for coming to save us. I'm a major fan. He goes, uh, cool. But um, let me do my own introduction next time. <laughs> that was fire. And the football dude's like, well, you ain't leaving now that you've gotten a peek at our operation. And then Trunks is like, as if that zombie makeup could scare off the likes of me. How foolish. I cannot stand idly by while you menace these good citizens. And then they're like, get that punk. So all the zombies like charge at him. And Trunks, of course, beating them up. No problems whatsoever. Tosses them. Throws them back. They're, you know, all getting thrown around like bowling pins. And then Trunks is like, last man standing, huh? Up cycle punch. And he like gut checks him. Oh, and then Trunks is like, ah. Oh. Like the dude actually took the punch. He's like, I'm built different than those others. I'm engineered to eat a wimpy hit like that and then some. Mm. Okay. So Trunks like, you don't say. And you force me to go all out. He goes, cyclone style, tornado, hurricane. Oh, and then his freaking, his, his, his suit literally gets worn off. Okay. So this is, this is the part where they were explaining like it had, there's like a timer. It was probably because it malfunctioned, right? So... So then comes like, huh? And then and then uh Rula is like trunks and then goes like ah oh, this is bad. And then he trunks okay, Goten, he uh key blasts a nearby light and then it all goes dark, like pitch black. And then Goten runs in and then he scoops them all out and then Rula's like, We're outside. How in the world? There's the other friend. And then uh Compass goes, Wait, aren't you Trunks' old friend? And then Goten says, yeah, I'm Goten. And then he says, oh boy, that was pretty scary, huh? I think the ghost made us all, I'm, I think the ghost made all of us see the same illusion. And then comes like, an illusion? When did it start? And then goes like, <laughs> it's like, um, right around when you got near the building. 
then Rula's like, right. And then the other kid's like, ah, but of course, naturally, Trunks couldn't be Saiyan Man himself. And then Compass is like, hang on, you're saying that place really is a haunted house? And they're like, ah, and they run away, right? All right, so Gon's like, phew. And then back at the mansion, hey, where'd you go? I happen to know exactly where you are. And he's like, how? He's like, you want to see You want to see me that bad? And he goes, ah, and he powers up the Super Saiyan. Oh. And the man's like, what the hell are you? And then Trunks is like, allow me to introduce myself correctly this time. And then he his uh, watch seems to work, so it goes beep. And then he and then his suit goes back on. Um, and then he goes, I am Saiyan Man X1, here to mop up evil. A superhero. And then he decks him in the face, breaks his face, actually. This is like a this is like a full pager, as you can see, right? So, um, yeah, so he like tosses him around and then well yeah, you know, he like flips around because like that's how hard he got hit. It looks like he's done for the count. And he goes, Clean up complete. And then they turn on a generator, I guess, and then the lights come back on. And then Goten's like, Wow, you really l let him have it. And then uh Chunks is like, Yup, where com where are compass and them? And then Goten's like, headed home. I told them it was all an illusion. And Trunks is like, thanks. I almost blew it there. And then Goten's like, so who are these guys anyway? Crap. I knocked them all out before asking. And then Goten's like, nice going. And Trunks is like, there's got to be a clue around here. So that's where they look around. They find the safe. And then Trunks is like, a safe. And he just breaks it open without even, you know, putting a code in because they're Saiyans. Let's not forget. And then he finds the confidential Dr. Ghetto disc. Dr. Juro, right? And then Goten's like, what's that? And then Trunks is like, not sure, but it's the only thing they had locked up tight. So it must be some crazy important data. And Trunks is like, I'll check it out back at home. But all I care about is ending the recall. So anything beyond that is sort of whatever. We see policeman Krillin actually nearby the site and he has a flashlight. He's like looking around and he peeks over and then, and then uh, Goten's like, hmm, is that Kuriden? And then Trunks is like, oh. and then Krillin's like, whoa. And then he's like, oh, it's you boys. This is no place for a couple of teens to be sneaking around at night. This is the first actual verbal confirmation that they are teenagers for those that were not, you know, aware. <laughs> Chunk says, what are you doing here, though? Krillin's like, we got a report from a nearby resident. Have you boys seen the walking dead around here by chance? And he goes, walking dead? <laughs> And then Krillin's like, yeah, a bunch of corpses were stolen from the morgue recently. And someone saw those dead people walking around up here. Spooky stuff, if you ask me. Chunk says, dead people walking? I should have known. They really were ghoulies. And Krillin's like, what are you talking about? And so then they, oh, and then this must be later on. So there goes Dr. Hedo, Hedo, right? He drops his cookies. Like, what is this all about? And then he goes to like the, the football dude. He's like, tell me what happened. Talk to me, Alpha number 12. Ah, so so it looks like his androids are called Alphas. So I like how Ghetto called, you know, those android like 18, 17, 16, 19, even 20. And he has his own numbered, you know, robots. And in this case, they're Alphas to him. So that's an interesting thing to note. Um, and then he says, got beaten by a kid with this school crest. Oh, he got his uh, school crest from the uniform, probably. And then Hedo's like, the entire Alpha series defeated? He's like, yeah. And he's like, how can this be? Don't worry, since you're all corpses, I'll have you up and about again in no time. Wow, so, yeah, that's crazy. All right, so he looks over, and then he peeks, and he realizes, like, no, where's the data disk from the safe? He's like, they took that with him. And then he's like, What? How did he know he took him? I thought he was knocked out. That's whatever. So he's like, anything but that, there's only one like it in the world. Oh, he doesn't have a copy or a backup. Oof, that's not good. He goes, sorry. And then he like, I guess, knocks out. It's like, ah, what a disaster. Blue Hall High School. Who could have done this? Either way, this base of operations is finished. Curses. Just when our sushi sales were really starting to pick up. I'll have to procure research funds some other way. And some other way is probably the grocery store, which we've seen in Superhero. So the next day, oh man, oh yo, I want that varsity jacket. Look at this. Chunk's got a varsity jacket on that. It looks kind of fire. I'm not even going to lie. The next day, hey, my, so about this Saturday, he's like, God, and the people are like, God, endless toil. 
a day off unthinkable the recall has was canceled but now we've got a small army's worth of broken bots to repair and Maya's like we'll be going without sleep in the hopes of <laughs> meeting our quotas and she was like, they found a whole heap of the missing bots in the old place up on Mount Butterfly. And then he said, it seems like someone had smashed them to bits. Oh, that was, that was Trunks' fault. He's like, uh, and he's like, I can't believe it. And that is where the chapter ends. 55 pages, nonetheless. Wow, what a... What a read. That was actually uh, really entertaining. So obviously with this chapter being the first uh to return in three months obviously they made this one a little longer than usual 55 pages is actually like at least 10 to 15 pages more than what we're used to getting and i really appreciate that much effort that was put into the return of this this was a lot of information a lot of events and things happened despite it being very slice of life but again this is a very good pace as far as what we've been getting and what we've been receiving in the last several years it has definitely been the goku and vegeta show and it's really nice to finally get something new even if it's not something that's gonna have a whole lot of weight in the overall story but we never know because there's always it's always stories like this that always catch you by surprise and so far, I'm really impressed with what they're doing with this. And I know that this was definitely a longer video than what uh, we usually do for these reactions. But again, it's it's definitely because of the longer page count. And, you know, like it is the return. So if you made it this far and you enjoyed the reaction and my little like review summary of, you know, what we've been talking about with this chapter, then definitely hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. But yeah. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing more from this arc. And I'm not really sure exactly how many chapters it'll actually end up being. I wonder if it's going to last up until the point in which the anime projects, whichever they are next year, actually debut. But obviously, as always, you can bet that I will be covering those bits here and on the full power podcast so if you haven't um you know subscribe to this channel and full power podcast definitely do so and don't forget if you're watching this today that we will be live over on the full power podcast channel to celebrate our 1000 subscriber uh sub count because we recently hit that and that was all within like nine months so really uh kudos to everyone that has been supportive and you know helping us grow and whatnot and i hope you guys are enjoying all the discussions and everything so with all that being said make sure you guys again are liking sharing subscribing hitting me up full power podcast and here um, all the links are going to be in the description below make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked with right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay that hell inside and i'll see y'all next time